Afternoon. Guys, just a reminder, we're live from the start and then um, I'll call a split when we get to it. Chris. Yeah. Man City, the Arsenal, two clubs that have played a big part in your life. Mm. How special will Wednesday night be for you? It's going to be a very special night. I'm very excited to get back there. I have some fantastic memories, a lot of friends, a lot of people that I like. But obviously now I'm in, in a different position, another bench, and I will defend uh, my club as, as well as I can. Given what you know about City, their strengths, weaknesses, individual players, the way they set up, how does that help you prepare for Wednesday? Well, it gives me a very clear idea of what they are trying to do, um, what they will be looking to do something different is to be able to stop that and as well create the issues that I think we can create to them um, that has to happen on the day when they are at their best I know what you are capable of doing the variation they have so at the end of the day it's about the players on the pitch performance you watched the last Arsenal City game from the City bench mm -hmm. when you think about what you saw from Arsenal that day and what you're now seeing how much has the team evolved since then I don't know, I wasn't here, I cannot judge what was going uh, behind the scenes. I know the team that I took, uh, where we are right now, and um, I think we've come along and we made progress in a lot of areas, and there are still other areas we have to improve a lot of things. You say you're in touch with Pep quite a lot, are those messages mm. drying up ahead of Wednesday? Right now, not yet. I'm sure he will be focused, they had a game yesterday as well, and I think we are all focused on our own job, it's enough. Can we just ask you about the team news? Is Torreira's broken ankle definitely a season-ending injury? Well, I wouldn't like to rule him. Um, Lucas is really keen and is wanting to play back again this season. Whether that's realistic or not, we will know in the next two or three weeks, depending on how the bone is healing, how he's doing his rehab. And uh, at the moment, we don't know anything for sure. And what's the other early team news? Is Cedric and uh, Mustafi in the frame to make the squad for this one? I think they will be available to play. Uh, hopefully, everybody is being able to play tomorrow, uh, train tomorrow, sorry, and pick the squad, uh, the best players we can. You saw United deal with City yesterday. So yeah. much, uh, interested you taking that performance, and can you replicate it, do you think, and beat City? I think every team is completely different. Every game is different. We play away from home. United was playing at home. It was uh, a very competitive game, very good game as well to watch on the tactical side. And at the end, the boxes decided the game again, you know. Um, at the moment, Premier League games are going ahead despite the coronavirus yeah. with full stadia. But in uh, Liga, um, they're saying now behind closed doors with a maximum of 1,000 fans. Mm. PSG and Dortmund in the Champions League behind mm. closed doors. Is it inevitable to think that Premier League games are going to go behind closed doors? Well, it looks like it's affecting more and more countries each time. So hopefully... It won't affect us, but I don't know how realistic that is either. So we're just following what the governments are saying, what the club are saying, and um, we just have to adapt to the situation. Can you say too how much this is affecting the players and how they're having to modify maybe their social nah, it's just a few routines that we have to be more careful, with minimal contacts and, uh, and things like that. For the rest, we are acting normally. You're eight games unbeaten in the Premier League now. Um, can you beat City? Well, we're going to go there trying to beat them for sure. That's going to be the game plan. Um, put all the things that we can on the pitch to make it difficult for them to create the scenarios we want to do during the game. And let's see, we we turn up on the day at our best and we can perform and win the game. And what about the Champions League pitch? You're, you're eight points behind Chelsea. If you make mm. your four straight wins, what about the Champions League after that? I don't know. It's still a long way to go uh, we want to go game by game three weeks ago it was impossible now it looks a little bit more possible but still in the results and, and our performances Mikhail, City have lost seven games this year which is pretty unprecedented for the time you were there what, why, why this season have they been beatable in the Premier League whereas in the past they haven't Sometimes small details make the difference and uh, I think they've been very unlucky with some of the games that uh, they lost, is my opinion. I was there when, when we lost a few and we completely dominated the game and, and lose the game in one or two details. This is football and uh, it can happen. Do you think that on Wednesday you'll need to be at your best and hopefully, from your point of view, then 
sharp as they did yesterday at Old Trafford, or are you confident you can go toe to toe with them? I think we have to be at our best. That's for sure. If we have any chance to win a game at the Etihad against those players, uh, we have to be at our best. I think we are in two different processes and levels at the moment. We have to try to match that as possible, and individually and collectively, we have to be at our best. We spoke after the game on Saturday, and you were delighted with Lacazette, what he showed you on the bench in terms mm -hmm. of get me on, I'll score, and the fact he got you the winning goal. Has that given you a headache in terms of starting him on Wednesday? Yeah, but not for the fact that he scores, the way he trains every day, the way he's trying, the way he played even when he wasn't scoring. It's, it's always at his best training, his attitude is top. The same with Eddie, so they all have a chance. And the Kiyosaka has been one of the standout young players in the, in the Premier League this season. His contract's up in 18 months' time. Are you desperate for the club to tie him down to a new long-term deal? The club is doing what he has to do and, and they're holding conversation and hopefully we'll get resolved. OK, we'll do a split now, 10.30. Uh,